It's less about the exact number. It's more about the fact that there is a great force there that can be exerted if it's required. Inside Ukraine, we still see uh, a, a large number of Russians who are involved primarily in training, advising, assisting, and helping the forces of the Russian backed forces in the east, the governments in the east, etc. Uh, we don't see combat formations, but we see troops that are there specifically to give backbone, guidance, and training to the, the Russian backed forces in the east. Agree with President Obama's uh, nominee for the second slot in the State Department. We uh, agree with the observations of many independent sources to include the OSCE about uh, uh, these movements into the eastern Ukraine. And the concern is less about each individual convoy. The real concern is that this international border is completely wide open and maintained open by Russian forces so that forces, supplies, money, fighters can move back and forth at will across this border. ...that have people build namely forming a coalition and going on the forum if they want to get to... As part of our efforts with Ukraine, we are going to help Ukraine's military to, to become, um, to increase its capacities and capabilities through our interactions with U.S. European Command uh, and our joint commission, which is working closely with uh, this nation at this moment.